I think Mr. Bert. Ah, Hopkins. Now, I'm not one to give in to popular sentiment. You can tell that by your clothes. What? I'm saying you dress great. Irrelevant. As I said, I am not a people pleaser, but in your case, I'm going to make an exception. An exception? Cool. Yes, you are without a doubt the least popular boy in the school right now. Even that fat child who wets himself is more popular than you. Coincidentally, it has also come to my attention that you are a filthy, dirty, foul-mouthed, awful little vandal. Yeah, well, we already knew that. Very droll. A comedian till the end. Well, you'll have to pursue your comedic talents elsewhere, boy. Bullworth is not for you. I'm not the one who's funny. You know what's funny? You. You're a joke, you old creep. You and your stuck-up, lame-ass school. Let's see you prove how tough you are. Um, uh, uh, hey. Hey, Hopkins, get a life, okay? I'm walking here. <laughs> You're the worst. I'm gonna start. Hey, Jimmy. How you doing? Terrible. Everybody hates me. Everybody might hate you. Russell, I need your help to bust into the dropout's hideout. Only if Russell gets to destroy. Taking a field trip to the School of Life, huh? Great idea. Cool. <laughs>
Ooh, that's gotta hurt. <laughs> Boom! Uh oh. We gotta go through the Red Star building. This gate is controlled by an electronic security switch. I think it's in the office. Now that we have the power restored, we've gotta get to the chem plant. And to do that, we've got to take on Omar. He's Edgar's right-hand man. He's the only one with the key to the plan. Okay, I... All of them. Hang on, Jimmy. You'll see. Hey! Girl, hey, baby. You are one cool grass. That's pretty. Come on, enough with the 
like your kind around here. You can run, but I can run too. Move, jackass. I was just looking for one of those. Jimmy. you how it's really done. Uh, using tools. You're a clever monkey, aren't you? Ha <laughs> ha! You can't beat me with your weak hands. Gary? 
That backstabbing two-faced sociopath put you up to this? Ah, I bet he said the two of you would take over the school or some crap. Hey, how'd you know? Because he told me the same garbage. Didn't do me any good either. You know, you're all right, Jimmy. Yeah, okay. See you. All sorted. Could you lend me a hand? What the hell are you doing here? Looking for you, Zoe. I think I'm in love. Don't be ridiculous. Haven't you heard? Heard what, my love? The school has broken out into a massive fight. Every gang and faction is fighting each other. What? Yeah! Oh, man, I gotta go. How am I gonna deal with this? I'm gonna need some serious backup. Where's Russell? Where's your buddy Edgar? Russell has been holed up in the Wonder Meat slaughterhouse, hiding from the cops. He's worried about going to prison after stealing that bike. Russell can comprehend prison? Wow. Look, I'll see you later. Well... What about love? It'll have to wait, Zoe. Duty calls.
Jimmy! There you are! I don't... that little runt. Thanks, Jimmy. Come on, we gotta get to the school. All hell's breaking loose. Hey, Jim, this is your turf. What the hell's going on? The whole place has gone mental. Yeah, it's your old friend, Gary. He's the one causing all the trouble. The kid's a complete psycho, and now he's got the teachers and prefects on his side. So? So, we run in there, try to stop the fighting, and find a way to deal with Gary. <laughs> all right, one question. How are we gonna stop a load of kids from beating the crap out of each other? It's America. We go in there with threats and bribes until we get what we want. If all else fails, we beat the crap out of everyone. That's why I brought along backup. Russell likes to hurt people. For peace. Cool. Then it's a plan. Damn! They're locked! Don't worry, Russell will get it! That kinda hurt. Edgar, we'll take out the gang leaders. Without them, Gary's got nothing. Hey! Let me get it close to... You nerd! What were you thinking? You fool! You don't see it! Gary's got a plan! A great plan! You idiot! Gary's plans are a load of crap! I should know! You don't get it! My brains and his lack of morals, nothing can stop us! Whatever! I'm gonna stop you both! Hey, Derby, someone's here to see you. Oh, it's the thug. Don't worry, boys, I'll deal with him. You're getting really tiresome, Darby. Cut it out. Now, Russell, I man! thought you'd be... Oh, oh, Lord. I have to carry on the family name. Oh. Russell, man! <laughs> No! Kill! Destroy! Just wait till I get 
<laughs> this is the best. Ted, I need you to help me. Get lost, Jimmy. You ain't nothing. You're just asking for it. Crush! Kill! Destroy! I wear no cover! Kiss my fist! Come on, turn it up a bit. Russell smash! The game actually hurts. This is awesome. What the hell are you doing, Johnny? Why are you taking orders from Gary? Shut up, Jimmy. You left us and everything went down the toilet. I beat you once, I'll beat you again. Finish, you bunch of bitches! <laughs> that was incredibly satisfying! Edgar, go help everyone calm down. I've got some business with Gary. Understood. Good luck. <laughs> you, what is that in your hand? Weapons are for prefects only. No! Get off my little body! Slow down so Russell can smash you! Aw, oh, come on. Your attention, please! Jimmy is complete human trash! Gary, you little bitch! Come out! James, I've been waiting. Let the games begin! Gary! Moron! Why'd you do it, Gary? Why not? I won! I tricked everyone! Starting with you, the head, the loser kids in town, and the prefects! Me! I won! You are sad, man! I might be sad, but I run your world, moron! And don't you forget it! You did all my dirty work for me, Hopkins! You're like a puppet! Only dumber! Whatever! Let's finish this! Got something for ya! Special <laughs> delivery! <sighs> if you prove to be one thing this year, it's slow! You'll never catch me, Hopkins! You're too trusting, Jimmy. From the start, you were pathetically naive.
Careful, don't hurt yourself. Poor little Jimmy. All alone in big scary boars. Under fire from Russell and his goons, desperate for help. So sad, so hopeless, just needing a friend, any friend. You were so easy to manipulate, Jimmy. And once we were friends, it was all so clear. You had your lust for power, but without intelligence to back it up, using you as a pawn was so wonderfully obvious. Let Jimmy have his fun. Let him play his childish little games with Ernest, Ted, Darby, Johnny, and Edgar. And just take it all. It was like lining up dominoes. So perfectly. While you were off wasting your time with whores like Lola, I was in the dorm. If I win, you're just another punk! You win, and you'll be sent away even quicker for beating up the head boy! Why'd you do it, Gary? Because I can! Because making little people like you and the morons who run this place eat out of the palm of my hand feels great! But I never did anything to you! You would've if I'd given you the chance! Face it, I'm smarter than you! Oh, congratulations! <laughs> you're smarter than me! You hate everyone, and everyone hates you! Genius! The head likes me! I tied him up, turned his dumb school into a battleground, got kids expelled, unfairly, put several others into therapy, and he still likes me! You're such a loser! <laughs> well, at least my mom doesn't make her living on her back! You're dead! <laughs> I can take you, Hopkins! Jimmy. Watch it. After you're expelled, step from back. Smith! I heard the whole thing! You're expelled! Come and untie me, boy! Yes, sir! <sighs> Sorry, didn't see you there. You know, I think I may have judged you too unfairly, boy. Yes, a little rough around the edges, but you're a diamond, boy. A diamond. Thank you, sir. Now take out the trash, would you, Hopkins? My pleasure. So it was you who took on this monstrous little wretch, was it? Yep. <laughs> what a hero. A lone wolf. Uh-huh. Well, no. To be honest, sir, I did have a lot of help from some friends. Like this girl, Zoe. She got expelled because she complained about Mr. Burton hitting on her. Burton? Well, he's fired. I hope he rots in hell. And a guy named Peter Kowalski, good friend of mine. Never heard of him. Yeah, well, he keeps quiet. He's kind of shy. Shy? The boy must be a genius. Why, he should be head of the school. Pete? Great idea. Now, about that letter to my mother. What letter? Finally, everything is sorted out, more or less. I mean, I don't want to say we're going to live happily ever after or anything like that, but life is certainly going to get easier. Mm. 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 Mm.